Hi guys, I'm Chaser of the Dawn on YouTube. My stage name is Justin Ryu, and I'm 17 years old, and I'm from California. Other than voice acting, my talents revolve around playing tennis and helping others, my family, my friends in any way I can, and also trying to get involved with the community, whether it's my school community, my church community, and the like. The first anime I have watched had to definitely be Pokemon. Pokemon certainly got started out for me. Because I remember, oh, I got the Game Boy game. I got Blue version. And so, even also while I'd be playing that, I'd also be trying to voice out whatever they said in the text boxes. And so it's like, hi, I'm Brock, the Pewter City gym leader. And it certainly touched my heart in many ways, and it still does today. A couple of my favorite series and franchises. I have to go with Final Fantasy, Bleach, Pokemon still, Resident Evil, and last but not least, Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid 6. How did I get to anime and gaming? It all started when I was four years old, my grandma got me a Nintendo 64, and my very first game I played was Super Mario 64. Uh, after that, I started watching Pokemon, and then I went on to Yu-Gi-Oh! And then after that, that went into so many other different directions. I started watching Bleach, I started watching Rurouni Kenshin, I started watching Samurai Champloo, so many of these different anime. The character I most relate to in an anime series or game, I'd have to personally say Vaughn from Final Fantasy XII. He's this upright kind of character who's got dreams and he he's really this outgoing guy and he does whatever it takes to bring the thought across and do whatever it takes to make the world a better place. He puts himself in these dangerous situations just like mostly every single protagonist of any groundbreaking story does. What draws me into anime and gaming? It's basically their story and how it's formatted, how the characters interact with each other. It's very interesting how the chemistry between characters, voice actors, voice actresses, how they all interact and intermix. It's just certainly something different if you're watching it, being an audience, watching it on TV, and being at the actual person who gives, who brings the person to life. Alright, how did I get into voice acting? It all started when Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep was announced for release in Japan and hearing how this was a definite prequel to the original game I was completely ecstatic and I was like hmm it's gonna take quite a while for the guys to come up with an English dub of it so I was like how about I start this off how about I help people discover some hidden talent in, within them and get involved with something they enjoy watching, playing, and doing and that would be voice acting and I became director for that and also portrayed the few roles in that such as Terra, Master Xehanort, and Master Ericus. I started voice acting when I was 15 years old, so that was just two years ago. I actually <laughs> recently turned 17 yesterday as of April 17th, so yep, I'm 17. <laughs> I wish to pursue this as a career mostly because of how exhilarating it is. It's a certainly awesome job 
be acting, but it's another kind of acting. You're behind the mic, but the amazing things you can do with your voice, like if you manipulate in many different ways, it, 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 it just captivates me entire in its own entirety. I got into voice acting when it all started with the Japanese announcement for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. When I was 15 years old, how will they be able to come up with an English dub in time by the time the Japanese version comes out in Japan? So then I came up with the idea of, hey, how about I create my own fan dub and create a cast just like they would in reality. I didn't know how to do this at first. I first up just picked up a mic, plugged it into my computer, then boom. I I took the initiative and look where I am now. I enjoy voice acting, being the characters I play, trying to be who they are, trying to portray and construct their image and make them who I wish to portray them as. How many characters do I play? Uh, whew. I actually do a lot of characters. I've done pretty much a lot to name. I've taken part in so many abridged series, trailers, games. It pretty much sums it up. It's a lot. The viewers best know me for my various abilities to change the scale from what type of vocal range. A little demonstration on how high or low I can go. Uh, I'll do it from a scale of a young kid, a teenager, a middle-aged adult, to an old man. Not even you could destroy this. But what I found is strength. Strength to protect everyone. I won. No complaining now. What's your problem? Get off my back already, old man. Bring it on. Why are you too scared? I live my life for you. Zack. I don't know what to do. Sephiroth. He's got me cornered. I can't help it. it he's too strong. Well, well. It seems like you yourself have got stronger. Now, show me the extent of your power. And also, uh, I'll do an old man, just for the heck of it, like I said. Why, hello there. It's nice to see you again. Oh, hello there. Oh, Dustin. My, how have you grown? Wait a second. You got in Harry. Oh, wait a second. You're my dog. What the hell? Um, when I voice act, it goes kind of crazy behind the mic. Yup, goes pretty crazy. So, as you can see, I am able to manipulate my voice and apply it in many different ways to portray the character I audition for or I'm I am assigned to. I believe my voice type mainly centers around uh, being the strong type and someone who's basically a teenager, just like me. So I'd be like, come on, let's go, bring it on, what you waiting for? And all that awesome stuff. Why voice acting? Why do I do this? Um, it's obvious. I love it. I guess you can say I audition about five times a month for projects and I manage that pretty well with my schoolwork and my um, participation extracurricular activities. When I secure a role for a project, uh, I get overly ecstatic, especially for my very first audition, which was for a... Final Fantasy radio play because I believe that was the best audition video I ever posted in my life. I, f I had 
Zack Fair, Kadaj, Yazoo from Final Fantasy VII, and so many of these other characters. Vaughn, Snow Villiers from Final Fantasy XII and XIII. Yeah, those characters are just lovable. They're just so lively, they're so ecstatic, entirely a spinning image of me. So, if someone asks me to audition, do I audition? Yes, I actually do. Uh, but there are rare occasions where I actually have to do my research on the director, the casting scout. Well, scouts out for <laughs> uh, voice actors slash actresses that he or she needs. I actually do my homework to see how is this director like? Um... Uh, how does he do this? How does she do that? What are the requirements? How does he or she put it all together? How is he or she fit to be a director? Yep, that's basically it. The steps I take when I audition. Yep, uh, you guessed right. I do have a few rituals. So, uh, first of all, one of my very first rituals is watching a few videos of my character Japanese dub or English dub and I study the character carefully seeing if he is like a totally ecstatic person someone who's melancholy someone who's egotistical many of those other kinds of qualities impudent ignorant arrogant can I go on uh, I think I'll pass How impatient do I get when waiting for the judgment for auditioning? I actually don't get impatient when it comes to auditions. I just simply audition and wait till the deadline. Special rituals I do for good luck, which I was just getting to. Right here is one of my very special prized possessions. Right here is my alien angel necklace, right here. You can see it right here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? I got from my grandma when she got, uh, went to the Philippines. And uh, ever since, I, I've worn this for good luck uh, for voice acting. And uh, also, another thing is water. You can never, ever go wrong with water. You always got to stay hydrated, so make sure that your voice doesn't run dry and to make sure that you that you don't injure your voice when you have to record. Good stuff. <laughs> My range has definitely increased since I first started out because back then I thought all I could do was a simple deep voice. I thought that that would only carry me uh, far, but apparently I, am a, I apply my own teenage voice and brings a uh, teenage slash young adult characters to life. How did I increase my range? Basically all I did was uh, play more games, watch more anime, literally watch anime repeatedly, especially episodes I have. I have Lucky Star, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Bleach. And also, I watch Hayao Miyazaki films, and you know how legendary Hayao Miyazaki is. Miyazaki-san is just beyond amazing. He's a great storyteller. He gets these amazing voice actors for the Japanese cast and for the English cast. My very first voice acting role, that would have to be... Um, I guess I have to be Ansem the Wise because that was the very first voice I did for any kind of voice acting ever. And so I was like, Big Key, young man, what ails you? Everyone, you must know that Qui-Gon never loved you. He only looked at you as a burden to him. Yeah, it's a decent Christopher Lee or you could say Corey Burton or whatnot. But either way, it's a voice I've trained from being this kind of voice right here. Do not worry about your friends, for their hearts and yours are strongly connected into Do not worry of your friends' hearts. They are strongly connected. Your friend needs you to love him. You have been watching future voice actors behind the scenes. Come check us out, and thanks for watching. See y'all later!